We welcome back Amy Kreutz from Conceptual Kitchens and Cabinets in Carmel. And we're so glad to have you back because I always call Amy the softest side. <laughs> The softest side of conceptual kitchens. And, and we it, love it when you say it like it, it that. Is, we but do. It, but, it, but it is true. And, and, you know, we're getting close to Mother's Day and we're talking about our moms. And tell us what, what people are looking for when they do these mother-in-law kitchens. Well, a lot of times they look for a more, it's obviously a more compact space typically. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that all the appliances are efficient. Maybe an all-in-one would be a good idea. So a microwave plus steam oven option mm -hmm. or a dishwasher that has more of a compact Mm -hmm. um, out, outline to it. So it's all about being efficient. Efficient. And it's also about aging in place as much as we don't, you know, like to think of some of mm -hmm. the obvious aspects mm -hmm. for mothers and mother-in-laws, which means that we need to make sure all the clearances are there for them mm -hmm. as they have special needs throughout the course of the Yeah, know, the you've, done, the you've done many spaces like that for people within their houses. And I think yeah. it wouldn't necessarily be challenging, but it, it would be fun to work on a mother-in-law's kitchen. It's actually, kitchen. Yeah, no, it actually is fun uh -huh. because you really have to think outside the box. It's, mm -hmm. And you also need to prep the client to force them to choose what it is they'll bring into that space. Mm -hmm. Well, Amy, you always have great information. Like Thank Barry you. said, definitely the softer side <laughs> of Rob's conceptual kitchens, but I'll say it without the accident. Okay. Uh, say hi to Amy and Rob at Rob's Conceptual Kitchens.